This year, as you probably know, Salto Inclusion and Diversity Resource Center and the Mental Health in Youth Work Project have jointly announced a series on ID Talks on mental health. Uh, while in the spring uh, of this year, we have been addressing uh, understanding mental health, so um, understanding the concepts and definitions and all the myths and reality around the mental health. This autumn, we are focusing on interesting, inspiring mental health practices. So our autumn season has a title of Discovering Mental Health Practices. And today is the second um, edition of the fall season of 2023. And um, I'm very happy to introduce you our guests and our topic for today. So today we are going to talk about movement and mental health. We will be looking into how physical leisure time activities could help young people to take care of their body and mind. We will see the clear benefits of dance and movement on our mental health and benefit, and even have an opportunity to walk the talk and experience a little bit. And to do so, we have two amazing speakers that have joined us from Sempre a Frente Foundation from Poland, Jagda and Isabella. Jagda is an educator, sociotherapist, and youth worker that has many years of experience with children and young people at risk uh, uh, of social exclusion. And on a daily basis, she works at the foundation and resp is responsible for therapeutic and development groups. And Isabella, who is still a student studying um, pedagogy after graduating from her psychology studies in Lublin, she is also working at uh, Sempre a Frente Foundation and is a first contact uh, when a uh, person is coming in and is co-leading the therapeutic and development groups. I am not in a position to present you better than you yourselves, so I uh, happily pass you the floor Please guide us through the day today. Thank you, Anna, for the beginning. Hello, all of you. It's really nice to see you. And it's really nice to have people from Poland also. So, cześć uh, dziewczyny. And we are glad that we have uh, people from so um, many countries. And we hope you will enjoy our talk. My name is Jagoda. Is, and as Anna told you before, I am a social therapist. I am running therapeutic groups with young people from 10 to 18. Um, I am working with young people uh, experiencing abuse, violence, uh, difficult situations, trauma situations, and also with young people uh, with depression, with uh, anxiety, social anxiety. And uh, we will tell you today more about how we work uh, and uh, about our methodology, non-formal methodology uh, in therapeutic approach. I am Isa, uh, also, as Anna said, I, I, I am a psychologist. I'm also studying uh, education pedagogy uh, and I'm interested in uh, psych dance psychology. Uh, I, I'm also uh, work uh, in my master thesis uh, in uh, about uh, the dance uh, psychology uh, representation of uh, our body uh, in uh, dancers. Uh, I just uh, work uh, with dancers and uh, show that uh, be, uh, depends of the style uh, what uh, what you are dancing it depends uh, how you uh, show your body how you feel your body uh, and uh, this is things that uh, i'm in interested uh, in uh, so we, we can is also a dancer yeah. in their routine after after running therapeutic groups she she's dancing so it's also connected with our methodology uh, okay, so I we think it's start. time to start our uh, presentation. Uh, we'll tell you more. So we can start our today's talk. And we are here today to tell you more about one of our projects, which is Improved by Move project. And this is a program to support 
young people mental health through non-formal education and dance methods. And uh, this is the project uh, strategic partnership under Erasmus Plus program. And it was implemented by three organizations, by our organization, we're all leading organization of this project. So Sempa Afrenta Foundation from Poland, Lublin. Uh, we are working with uh, children, with young people, uh, and also with their parents, with guardians, with specialists uh, in the psychosocial, uh, in the area of psychosocial support. Uh, we are running child advocacy center where we offer free help, psychological help, uh, psychiatric, legal and medical assistance for children uh, experiencing violence. And we also have our youth information and development center and this is a place where together with young people, we're creating local project, international project. Uh, we are uh, Erasmus Plus uh, point, also uh, Eurodesk point and European Solidarity Corps point. So we work uh, international as well. So if you want to join our pro program, just uh, write to us and we will see uh, what we can do together. So it's also possible and we are open for that. So. At the end of the presentation, you will have our um, Instagram and Facebook accounts, so uh, you can do it. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, and second organization is uh, TSVC from France. Uh, it's co-directed uh, co uh, co by Sicilian uh, choreographers, uh, Antonio Ceresia and Fabio Dolce. Uh, they have three main uh, aims uh, or directions of uh, the company, the creation, education, and raising awareness of dance and the body expression. And they form also in dance uh, and uh, art therapy, are developing uh, new approaches for self-empowerment and social inclusions using uh, body expression and non-formal education tool. And the third organization, our third partner is from London, United Kingdom, and it's Nicola Art. This is the organization, a more youth lead charity, where they promote positive interaction between youth communities through creating uh, different projects, uh, art projects connected uh, with dancing, with drama, with music and with fashion. And they are working with young people uh, from disadvantaged areas. Okay, so why we decide to create this project together? Uh, and our, like, we, we met uh, before in the project and we see that uh, young people from uh, different countries, because we are from different countries, have uh, similar difficulties in their daily life, daily routines. You can see the similar difficulties uh, what we uh, saw, if you agree, you can write it also on the chat. Maybe in you, your countries, the situation looks the same or similar. And we saw that young people, uh, especially during the COVID-19 and after the COVID, we can see it even now, uh, have difficulty uh, with the self-esteem, but also with uh, creating relationships. They uh, have low awareness about their body about the signals coming from the body according to emotions they have uh, and they have also difficulty in expressing emotions especially the difficult ones like anger or sadness uh, and we also saw that young people have very high level of stress according to school but according also on the period of being adolescents and because of uh, this uh things that we observed and uh, saw in the young people. We decided to create the project internationally to make it more uh, accessible to specialists. Uh, and uh, each of the partner organizations specializes uh, in a different area or activity. Uh, like we said, our organization is uh, supporting mental health. And um, CS service, uh, you, uh, they are using dance and body expression as a non-formal education tool. 
and uh, Nicola uh, used uh, development artistic competences of child uh, children from disadvantages areas. And so we decided to combine our competences and create uh, a free tool in three languages, including also English, to, so that the awareness of the impact of movement and dance of, on mental health would uh, be uh, increased uh, in uh, various countries and not just in our countries, but in the whole of Europe or, or world. <laughs> So as a part of the project, we have created the whole program supporting well-being of young people based on the methodology of non-formal education using dance and body, uh, body work and movement. And the program consists of five dance workshops and four non-dance workshops uh, according to communication, adequate self-esteem, building self-acceptance, We'll tell you more during our presentation and we will also show you the program because it's free and you can download the program, use it in your daily routine, in your job. And so what is important in this slide that you can see a photo and actually if you look deeper in the photo, you can see also me and Isa because this is the photo uh, from the training for youth workers. Uh, we decide to uh, at the first try try uh, the program for ourselves to feel how it is how it is to using body and movement and using it uh, in the work and how it is to be connected with different people just to be better uh, like teachers better youth workers uh, for our youth and by dance and uh, movement we want to work with young people uh, with uh, important aspects like uh, communication, knowledge about themselves and body expression. So we want to uh, tell uh, you about more about these uh, aims. Communication was very important for us and it's also important because it's connected with our mental health. We use communication every day, but uh, young people sometimes have difficulties uh, to talk with other people about their difficult situation, about their hard uh, situation, experiences, about their emotions. Using dance, using movements, uh, it's more possible to say uh, what they feel. Uh, they can express it with their body, not necessary to using the words. And it's also very important for us as youth workers uh, to observe young people where we are working with them because sometimes their body tell us more than the words. And uh, we, we know that the adolescence is very special time for the young people. Uh, when the main aim is to know each other, know uh, themselves and uh, build uh, their uh, identity. So it's very important to, uh, to give young people uh, space and opportunity to know uh, them uh, about mental and physical themselves. Uh, so the, uh, here in the, our method, the participants can gain knowledge about themselves with regard to trust, teamwork, listening, uh, or critical thoughts, attention, skills, once placed within a group, the standards of the discipline needed to succeed and the rewards of succeeding uh, also as an individual, but also as a team. Uh, body expression, as I told you once before, uh, it's important uh, to create free space for participants, for young people to feel free to express how they feel at the moment, how they feel during the workshops. Uh, and it's very important that they can use uh, activities from our program in the daily routine. So they are becoming more aware about their body, about their weaknesses, about their strengths, and they can use it uh, just during daily life routine. Uh, they gain new knowledge. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, during a, a dance workshop, the facilitators should help participants to take uh, time to listen to their body 
it's also uh, important that the facilitator is not just a, a teacher or observer, uh, but it's uh, uh, he's also uh, the participant uh, of of this workshop. And sometimes uh, when we saw that someone have a problem to go into some some works, uh, you can uh, go into this with the, the, this person and help them to uh, to feel uh, comfortable and. Uh, give uh, this person time to to connect the, with the, their body and uh, and the, the individual strengths and weaknesses and then uh, the, this workshop have a full uh, maybe you can say something more uh, about this like when you saw that uh, some can go uh, into uh, workshops uh, if we help we, she can he or she can go go into this yeah yeah it's important for us as uh, youth workers or for us specialists to be ready to help young people uh, so when we using program like that connected with dancing or with body movement it's important for us uh, as adults to be aware of our body, to be ready to join, sometimes to do the activity together with young person. Uh, so uh, it's also important to uh, prepare yourself to using this method. And it's also possible using our manual because we prepare some tips for youth worker, how to start the methodology, how to start workshops and how to implement it. Because what is also important, the program uh, it's not only for specialists. You don't have to be dancer. You don't have to have experience with dancing or with moving before you use this method. Uh, the activities are uh, easy and we prepare step by step how to start it, how to continue it. We have also like video guides. I will tell you more about it in a minute. Uh, so you can read and you can also see or hold the activity, how to do it with young people. Uh, what is very important before you start using methods connected with body and with movement, it's uh, important to talk with uh, young people uh, about consent and about respect. Uh, so before you start, the participants should know that they have to show uh, respect everyone and that they uh, should be mindful of how others might perceive their behavior. And so you also should talk about physical and verbal boundaries. And you need to react during the workshop. When you see something is wrong, you need to react when someone crosses their boundaries. Uh, young people also should know uh, that the consent and level of their comfort uh, is very individual and should have permission to change it at any time during the workshop. Uh, so it's also part of the project, very important part, uh, connected with consent and with respect. Yes, and uh, what it's important that this uh, process uh, uh, improved by MOVE, it's not uh, therapy in, in itself, uh, uh, but the participants can might receive the therapeutic effects. And uh, this is program about the supporting health, not the process of dance therapy. So this is not uh, dance and movement, movement therapy. Uh, this process not uh, can't uh, can't replace uh, any therapy or um, uh, yeah, therapy for which uh, uh, maybe it's um, needs to uh, for the participants. And uh, this process is a complementary to, to other forms. So you can uh, use this uh, next to the uh, uh, other forms uh, with uh, prevention or therapeutic process uh, in your work. And as you can see on the photo, we implemented the project during COVID-19. So it was hard for us to use body and movement activity during the COVID, but it was possible. And as you can see, also you can see uh, 
Antonino, which helps some girls do the activity because uh, we also have experience like that, that especially at the beginning of using this methodology, young people need to uh, be encouraged to uh, feel the connection with the body of the other person. So to be able to use our program Improve by Move, uh, we create materials special for you, which are free and they are uh, available in three languages. One of the material is a manual with a full description of the whole workshops uh, with the dance workshops and uh, non-dance workshops. You have also there some tips and how to implement them. And you have also some information about dance methodology, some uh, other projects which our partners created according to working with young people. And the second part of the program are video guides. Uh, they are from dance workshops. And uh, on the videos, you have also some warm ups, stretchings, or exercise to improve your mobility. Uh, it's important to warm up our body before we start uh, activity with movement. So every uh, everything is recorded and uh, each part of the program, um, before you will implement it, you can see it. Um, and uh, we put here table of the content. I will not scroll you like one by one because you can read it and then you can download it. But as you can see, you have information about the program itself. You have whole part about the consent and respect, some recommendation, uh, some reflection and evaluation, how to do it, uh, some risk assessment, because it's also important to talk in your team uh, about some risk assessments and uh, workshops one uh, by one. Mm -hmm. As I told you, the dance workshops also and the feedback, we'll show you some feedback uh, in a minute from the trainers and also from youth workers and from young people from three different countries. Yes, and now we can talk about that. Why is uh, physical activity so important for mental health, especially for uh, adolescents uh, time? Uh, so uh, the research the research has shown that the higher level of physical activity in adolescents are associated with lower levels of depressing symptoms uh, among adolescents, boys and girls. And uh, what is more important that the body esteem, the body esteem is mediating, mediating, mediating the relation between uh, this physical activity and uh, depression and uh, moderate or high levels of physical activity are related with lower levels of anxiety. Uh, um, and uh, this also has a positive effect on other uh, intra interpers interpersonal characteristics like, um, like self-esteem, improving uh, cognitive performances uh, and academic achievement. So it's equally important uh, in helping uh, teenagers cope with the, the challenges of school, which is uh, also important factor of uh, their mental health. Um, yeah, uh, also uh, other researchers confirmed that the regular physical activity uh, in adolescents, especially uh, in the medium or high uh, intensity, it's positively related to various mental uh, and physical health uh, outcomes like uh, health body weight, uh, body esteem, and low uh, rates of uh, chronic disease. So you can see that uh, it's just a medium level of physical activity, and it's enough to make positive changes in uh, our health. And uh, you should also say that it's. Uh, it can, it can be just walking, like daily walking, and it's enough to have this positive impact. So you don't need to be athletes or make some sport 
Uh, you can just uh, walk or uh, do what you uh, really like. And uh, you should do the same uh, with uh, the older lessons. Um, yeah, sometimes just walking around, around the building you work in uh, is better for their mental health than, than sitting in, especially when, for example, when we are running therapeutic groups, sometimes they are coming to us and all the group have like really bad day or they are sad or angry for something. And sometimes it's better to start with walking around the building, uh, not to do activities, just to do some movements, some briefing activities uh, to make them feel more comfortable and just to feel better. Yeah, and also, despite the fact that uh, personal and health benefits from physical activity are well uh, grounded in the literature, uh, it's observed that the phys physical activity of adolescents uh, gradually declines. The greatest uh, decline uh, of physical activity occurs between childhood and adolescence. Uh, and it's so dramatic that over half uh, of adolescents uh, in upper secondary school do not achieve the uh, recommended daily uh, intensity of uh, activity. So uh, it's very important to, to think that uh, it's very um, important aspects, uh, even not, not uh, uh, aspects like uh, it's good for, for our uh, mental health, but also it's really uh, dramatic that uh, young people don't have to don't have uh, uh, so much physical activity like uh, they, like they should uh, like they uh, have to have to have, have, yeah. to have. <laughs> even you yeah, now you can like think about yourself and about your movement how it looks during the day uh, do you walking for the bus stop for example or walking by stairs or you prefer elevator or you prefer going by car or the by bus so very small changes during our life make big changes at all so we also use this methodology working with uh, young people that they don't need to be like Isa said athletes uh, but they can use movement in their daily routine yeah, and also it's uh important that uh, the research has shown that the girls in an early adolescence have a high risk of uh, becoming inactive uh, and losing positive uh, health outcomes related to physical activity. Uh, girls have a lower physical activity levels than boys uh, for all ages. Uh, so it's uh, really important uh, for whole uh, teenagers, but uh, we should uh, we should know that uh, uh, also girls have uh, more risk of this inactive, and I think that uh, it can be uh, uh, like I, I see this uh, like boys are more likely to develop develop a passion like sports passion and. Um, for the typical sports uh, in school uh, and they are often more privileged so uh, to, uh, when it comes to the sports uh, teams and uh, like uh, we see uh, girls have uh, lower self-esteem so it's uh, also uh, it can be uh, and willing to them that they don't want to enjoy to do some physical activities in school and out of school. Yeah, for example, in Poland, we see that now it's very, uh, very typical, especially for young people, they don't want to be observed by others. And maybe that's also one of the reasons they don't want to attend physical education because they don't want to be observed especially girls because like the, the, their body are changing and they don't like their bodies so they don't want to show it to other people 
using uh, activities connected with body or with dancing help them to uh, like their body more, to be more aware of the body, to be more grateful for the body. And that's help with self-esteem, but also that help to create healthy relations and to set up boundaries, also the physical boundaries. And now, now it's the time if you want, if you are interested in, I will also send the link uh, on the chat. Uh, you can see uh, our manual uh, with video guides. They're available for free in true language versions in Polish, English, and in French. Uh, you can download it uh, using QR code. Uh, or you can download it by link, which I will send in a while uh, on our chat. Uh, you can use this method, you can spread this method in your job or uh, for your friends or maybe for yourself to improve yourself by move. It's also possible because it's easy. Uh, so uh, it's also time for us to show you some uh, practical things, some uh, videos. Uh, we will not show you all the video because they are quite long, around 15 minutes, but we just want to uh, show you the spin off uh, of it. So I am sending a link and Isa is switching the video. Uh, Anna, if you could just let us know with activity if one. the uh, voice is everything. Correct. Yeah, yeah, we can hear the voice. The facilitator should invite the participants to walk into the space at their own rhythm and in any direction to be acquainted with the space for around two minutes. The facilitator should now invite the participants to split into two groups and form two lines, one in front of the other. Each participant should pay attention to the person they have in front and look at them to observe any particularity, singularity, character that could define that person. The facilitator could point out a few characteristics to pay attention to. They could be the color of the hair, of the skin, of the eyes, the height, their proportions, the way they stand, their body positions, their curves, in which direction their body is projected to, where the weight stands on their feet, towards the toes, the heels, in the middle, towards the interior side of the feet or the exterior side of it, how their feet are connected to the floor, if the toes are relaxed, etc. The facilitator should now ask the participants. Okay, so that was like the short uh, showing you one of the workshops. Now maybe we can show you some warm up or stretching. Just in a while. So you breathe in this neutral position, relaxing your muscles as much as possible, feeling this line lengthening your body. And from there, we're gonna roll our head and vertebra by vertebra, roll all our spine on top of your legs. Take your time, your own rhythm. Leave the weight of your head, do the job for you. Your pelvis at some point, we're gonna go back. So your weight is gonna go back on top of your heels and leave your hands, your arms hanging. Take your time. Cześć, jestem Serbia Gliwa. Chciałam wam opowiedzieć. Okay. okay. You can see occasion to see Polish <laughs> advertisement. So you can see that every detail of uh, even stretching is uh, so you can see that and you don't need to be worried that you don't know how to do something. Uh, and now we want to show you uh, interviews. Uh, and it's the last video we want to show yes, you because yeah. all of the videos are available also in the link I send you on the chat.
I found this project amazing. I blindly jumped into it. I didn't know uh, it was a dancing course, so uh, I'd never danced in my life before. And I was really uncomfortable doing it at first because I had no idea what I was doing. But uh, Fabio and Nino really helped me out and they pushed me to try harder. And I feel like now I'm a lot more comfortable with doing things I never thought I'd do a week ago. And uh, I loved uh, connecting uh, physically and emotionally with the, the other people on the group. To było to ogromne doświadczenie i jakby warto było tu być i tego doświadczyć. Bardzo dużo było e, zmiennych, bardzo dużo było ludzi, którzy coś wynieśli do tego projektu. Każdy warsztat tak naprawdę miał swoją specyfikę, e, był realizowany w innym dniu, więc e, my z innym też podejściem przychodziliśmy na zajęcia. No ale każdy z tych warsztatów miał w sobie jakąś taką moc, która pchała nas do przodu. No i ja się czułem świetnie i czuję się nadal będąc na tym projekcie i czuję, że właśnie rozwinąłem się dzięki ruchowi, dzięki też muzyce, dzięki też atmosferze, którą wykreowaliśmy tutaj razem. No i zawsze taka mieszanka kulturowa fajnie wpływa na proces twórczy. No i jakby czuję, że w ramach tego procesu też wiele osób na projekcie zyskało nie tylko taką wewnętrzną siłę i moc, ale też pewne przemyślenia, refleksje, które mogą w przyszłości wykorzystać, spożytkować na to, żeby realizować dalsze fajne rzeczy i fajne projekty. Najfajniejsze było chyba to, że każdy z nas miał trochę inny mindset, inne podejście do tańca, inne doświadczenia związane z ruchem, ale potrafiliśmy znaleźć jakąś taką wspólną przestrzeń, wspólną wysepkę, tak, żeby na niej się wspólnie realizować i no, ta energia tych ludzi i ta atmosfera wokół nas, to co było coś pięknego. C'était super, c'était vraiment une très belle expérience, des très belles rencontres avec des gens qui étaient plein d'horizons différents, il y avait autant des danseurs, des acteurs, des gens qui travaillent dans le social, donc c'était vraiment très chouette de pouvoir partager donc avec des gens qui ont une formation tout à fait différente. Euh, moi, ce qui m'a plu, c'est que ce genre de workshop, j'avais déjà fait des choses un, peu, un petit peu similaires, mais qui étaient plutôt orientées pour un public adulte. Et là, c'était chouette de pouvoir réfléchir sur le, la formation elle-même, en fait, sur comment trouver des nouveaux moyens de, de partager autour du mouvement, de laisser vraiment la liberté à chacun d'expérimenter avec ce qui était déjà présent. Euh, d'explorer même sa propre personnalité, ses, ses propres capacités, parce qu'il voilà, y a des gens qui vont être très souples, qui connaissent déjà bien la danse, euh, des gens qui n'ont pas forcément ce, cette expérience-là, mais qui vont apporter des choses vraiment, vraiment neuves. Ça m'a fait plaisir aussi de pouvoir reparler pour lui. C'était très intéressant l'approche, parce qu'on s'est parlé tant de danse que de mouvement. Quindi il movimento è una cosa propria di tutti i corpi che hanno delle articolazioni. Quindi un metodo molto interessante perché appunto propone una progressione, partire dal conoscere il proprio corpo, prendere consapevolezza delle basi del, dello stare in piedi, al camminare, al articolare, al creare e poi a parte individualmente poi in gruppo. Quindi, è stato molto magico anche scoprire come le persone anche che non necessariamente eh, lavorano in questo ambito o che non hanno assolutamente esperienza, siamo riusciti subito a connettere e creare delle cose molto, molto simpatiche, molto eh, emotive, con, con tanti colori, tante sfumature anche di, di emozioni. Relazie, rosvo e ispirazione. Inspirujące, wymagające e creative. Poszerzający granice, otwierający i zabawny. Gdybym miała podsumować ten projekt kilkoma słowami, to powiedziałabym, że był budujący samopoznanie i zbliżający do innych ludzi. Trzy słowa z tego doświadczenia dla mnie to połączenie, ciepło i miłość. So yeah, it's been amazing for me and I'm so glad that I could share this with Antonino as well. What really amazes me is how we can use uh, this project, these tools, dance, arts in general, to put forward the humanity. C'était une super expérience, et surtout dans la rencontre, 
de la rencontre avec les cultures, euh, des nouveaux gens, des nouveaux modes d'expression. On se rencontre en fait avec ce processus très créatif qu'on arrive à exprimer, à communiquer et à aller à l'encontre de l'autre, sans la parole, sans besoin de parler, juste avec euh, la, le corps, la danse finalement. Euh, on arrive à s'ouvrir aux autres et au monde. Donc c'était euh, vraiment des belles rencontres. Okay, so that's how it looks. I, I watch this film like I don't remember even how many times and every time I'm, I'm watching it, I'm like, oh, it was so amazing time for me. It was, I was really surprised that during uh, like five days, uh, it was possible to create a, a very deep connection between people from different countries, from different cultures, Uh, sometimes uh, the people even don't speak English, but we create the connection through the movement and body. And it was the first, um, uh, for, for me, it was the first time for my life to, to experience something like that. So I really recommend you to stay um, with your body, to feel your body uh, and to try using movement uh, in your work with young people. So you can see now short feedback from young people. It's a feedback from three different countries. We were working with different groups. Here we were working mostly with girls. So that's also interesting. In Poland, boys are not necessarily connected with using body and movement. Like um, in dancing. In dancing, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, we know that in France or in London, they have also boys from different backgrounds, different areas, uh, different difficulties in their life. Uh, but as you can see, young people also enjoy it and it's important to, to try uh, to use it. And now it's important to try for you. So it's time for some practice uh, for you to, to try to connect uh, with your body. Um, and, uh, Maybe we will not do activity as you can see at the photo, but we will don't try. Worry. Don't worry, but we will try something uh, easier to, to do uh, in a few minutes. So we need also some more space. And it's also time for you to choose some quiet place in the room, maybe to change the room where you are now. Mm, turn off your phone or other. Um, things like TV or computer, you can lie down or sit down in comfortable position. Uh, if you want, you can close your eyes. It's not necessary, but it can help you to, to connect with your body more. And you uh, can start to focus on your breathing. Just breathe out, breathe in. Okay, and now we will uh, start uh, tensing the muscles group. Uh, and we, uh, we will start uh, from the feet and continue to the head. After every uh, tense, try to increase your re relaxation in every part of body. We will do three sets of dancing for uh, five seconds uh, each. So now we start Contract your whole feet. Imagine you want to uh, grab something from, from the floor by your feet. You can also push your foot to the floor for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And relax and breathe. And again, one, two, three, Four, five, and relax, and breathe. And last time, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Now we go to our pulse. You can see on the uh, graphic, if you don't know uh, what's the part of body in English, you can see that um, we go up, so half, 
and contract your uh, uh, cars. Like you want, uh, you can flex your boots up, and then the calves go uh, go uh, tighter. One, two, three, four, five, and to relax. Remember, uh, breathe. <laughs> and again, one, two, three, four, five. And relax, breathe. You can also think about that where you feel some pain. It's a very important information about your body. Okay, and the last one, uh, tense your curves. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Okay, now uh, we go to the right. So, uh, tense your fight. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Remember to breathe. And again, tense your fights. One, two, three, four, five, relax. And last one, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Now we go to the buttocks. Like uh, you can imagine that you want to go up and you want to uh, yeah, go, go up and uh, just tense your uh, buttocks. One, two, Three, four, five, and relax. Remember to breathe. And second one. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And last one. Tense your buttocks. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Remember to uh, try to increase your relaxation uh, uh, in every part of body after the, the tense. When we go to the legs, try to uh, increase this relaxation. Now we go to the back. So try to uh, reduce the distance between your upper, upper and lower parts of the, the back but don't bend or turn your back, just try to push it to the, themselves. One, two, three, four, five, and relax, and breathe, and again. One, two, three, four, five, relax, And last one, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Now go, we go to the uh, belly. We want to uh, contract our belly. You can imagine that you want to push out all the air you can, you have in, inside. And uh, the last, last moment, it's the, the best uh, tense of our our muscles in our body. But to keep breathing, but with the distance in, in the body. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Breathe. And again. One, two, three, four. Five, relax, and re uh, the last one. Last one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, and relax. Now we go to our shoulders. We can uh, 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 tight them to the up or back in the every part, uh, the direction. 
when you where you want. So pick a site and uh, return our uh, returns our uh, folders. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Relax. Remember to breathe. And last one. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. Now we go to our arms, so the part of our uh, hands. And like, uh, I don't know what you can uh, imagine. I think like squeezing uh, something between your uh, arm and your uh, uh, body. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Keep breathing. <laughs> and the last time, one, two, three, four, five, relax. Okay, so now we go to the forearms here and uh, try to like squeeze all your muscles here. Uh, you can also clench your feet. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's hot, it's hot in this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, relax, breathe. And again, one, two, three, four, five, relax. And last time, one, two, three, four, five, relax. Now we go to the neck. So try to, I don't know how to imagine. I think it's it's uh, very uh, natural. We really just uh, dance our uh, neck when we are um, feel anxiety, or for example. So try to uh, maybe reduce the distance between our heads and our uh, shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, relax, and three. And last time, one, Two, three, four, five, and relax. Now we go to our mouth. So we, we want to squeeze uh, our mouth uh, very hard. One, two, three, four, five, relax. And again, one, two, three, four. Five, relax. And last time, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And we go to our jaw. So imagine you are angry and you squeeze your, uh, your jaw. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, one, two, three, four, four, and relax. And last time, one, two, three, four, five, and relax, breathe. You can feel how it's uh, it's uh, very uh, cool uh, when we just uh, relax and feel the. Uh, that our body sometimes uh, have this tense uh, naturally. So we need to be focused about this relaxation, uh, relaxation in our body. Uh, okay, so now we go to the, our eyes. We want to uh, close our eyes like the sun is uh, very 
uh, strong and bright and we want to uh, like uh, cover uh, our eyes one two three four five relax and again one two three four five relax the last time one two three four five relax okay now we go to our uh, forehead so we want to um, we are shocked one two three four five relax and again one two three four five relax remember to breathe and last time one two three four five and relax so how you can see we have uh, a lot uh, parts of body and in every part uh, it can be uh, some tense uh, and even we, we we can we can be uh, we we don't know about that so it's important to think about this part and think uh, that's something it's uh, hurting us or uh, it's uh, it, it's just uh, just tense so uh, it, uh, remember that like it's, it's very important for us and for our body to be aware about all of the muscles we have because we even don't know how many muscles we have in our body and sometimes when we just wake up and go to school or into the job we don't think about our body it's uh, good to have uh, like the stop button during your day and just sit or lay down if you have possibility and just to think how my body feels just to uh, feel uh, think about your feet about your legs about your belly about your back about your head because we have a lot of tension especially in the area of the jaw or in the area of our eyes, we even didn't know it during the day, but it's very helpful for our body and for our health to uh, thinking about uh, how um, part of the body are feeling. And it's also showing us that we need to rest, we need to drink some water, we need to eat something. Uh, so our bodies just talk with us, but sometimes we don't want to have this talk. So. Let yourself to talk with your body and listen to what the body wants to tell you. And I think uh, it's, uh, it's, it's enough uh, when we are talking about a uh, presentation and about program. Uh, so now it's time for some questions. If you have some, uh, we are ready to, to talk with you. But still, I would say, and to save a little bit of time, let's go in this kind of an order of room one, room two, room three, and you decide amongst yourself who will be bringing your one question or one learning outcome from your group to the attention of everybody. Okay, we have uh, Malena first and then Eleni. I can... Hi, can you hear me? Yes, Malena, please. Uh, well, we all agreed that uh, the program is really useful and we really liked it and would like to actually apply it to groups and uh, stuff like that. And also, well, I had uh, the doubt um, about how is actually physical movement related to expressing emotions? Like I get the relationship and I think it happens, but I'm not sure how is it? Yeah, like why does it happen? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. For your question, I think, Isa Yagoda, you make some notes for yourself and then we adhere to everybody and then you try to wrap it up all together, yeah? Okay. Perfect. Next one is Eleni, a colleague trainer from Greece. So great to see you here online. We met just a couple of weeks ago in person. So now it's really nice to see you here in our audience. Um, you're unmuted, so please take the floor. Okay. 
Um, I was in a very nice group, and actually I was in a group with uh, Elena, who has been part of the workshop and has uh, experience uh, on it, and she was sharing a bit her view. But all the time that I was listening, because I'm, I belong to the older generation, okay, I'm 45 years old, and I, I couldn't shake this thought from my head that when I was growing up, all the physical um, contact was very much normal but now i i have to ask how do you tackle uh, uh, situations where people might not want to be uh, touched so much not want to be uh, uh, cont uh, making eye contact uh, continuously and how how does this how, how can you include these people or um, I don't know, how do you tackle this? I think that this is, um, I, I couldn't stop thinking about it while I was uh, listening to your very interesting method. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Eleni. I think the question is noted and we can go to the next one, which is from Gonzalez. I hope this is your first name, but if not, please introduce yourself before you speak. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, well, I have a lot of questions. But uh, first, I was thinking because, well, I just graduated from uh, psychology and I also love dancing. So once I went uh, with, well, to my dancing classes and my teacher told me something very interesting. And she told me, you know, that once I talked with an old woman and she told me that dancing saved her from depression. So that for me was really uh, impressive. And I was thinking how also this kind of project can help to prevent, you know? For example, I'm from Mexico and I think that, for example, uh, I have heard also that a lot of people, a young people, they start like passionate about dancing. And because of that, they didn't get in drugs or mm -hmm. they didn't, you know so for me it's really 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 impressive i would like to talk more with you because i'm really interested about that and oh, the, the other question that i have is uh, i am very sorry gonzalez i think maybe we take your other question if we have some extra time because we okay. really yes. have seven minutes to wrap it up i'm sorry to cut it off no no it's okay it's okay. so much for uh, waking up in the middle of the early morning probably for you in mexico to be with us uh, we are very happy when we have somebody away from european continent to join mm -hmm. us um, do we have somebody from the last fourth group? If so, let's take one more question or comment and then give back the floor to Yagoda and Isa to react. Yes, yeah, Sandra, please, um, we will unmute you in a moment. Yes. I uh, I wasn't uh, sure which number, actually, which group number we were <laughs> in. But anyway, Sofia, uh, Ramada and Milos, uh, I can't see him anymore. He's gone uh oh no no yeah he's gone um so uh sofia from portugal and milos from montenegro and i'm from croatia um it's very hard it's very beneficial to have these small groups after the whole session uh because it kind of gives us an opportunity to talk amongst each other but then it ends up being very short so milos was in the middle of a very um inspiring conversation when the the small group cut i mean when you cut us off uh but i think his we didn't have i don't think we had a question i think we just uh discussed our um reflections on today uh, but milos said i think a very interesting um thought that i would just like to share with everybody he was just discussing how with maybe these techniques or some others as well, we kind of shift the focus from the mind to the heart. Um, and he was also discussing about the context that um, he's living and working. So I think maybe that's a good, just a farewell thought to maybe um, um, think about the workings of our heart uh, and uh, maybe not so much our mind and, you know, being busy and you know focusing on things to do and things that are overwhelming us and maybe 
um, uh, you know, think about peace of mind as more of a, as a heart activity, even though that sounds very poetic and fluid, but I wanted to share what Milos had to share with us. I, I found it very inspiring. Thank you very much, Sandra. Thank you very much. We are aware that the time that we allocate for the groups are not is not long. Not always we have the time, but um, yeah, let's make best out of the five minutes that are left and uh, giving you back the floor with a little bit of a pressure to keep it really short. <laughs> oh, that would be hard for us. Uh, very interesting question. So thank you all for that. For that. I think that I, I would like to answer the question about how to engage young people, especially the young people who have some difficulties with touching of, or of being close to each other. We observe it that a lot of young people have these difficulties. In Poland, it's very uh, common now, unfortunately, that they don't want to talk uh, into each other in real life. They prefer to talk. Uh, using their phones or using their compu computers, especially after the COVID-19, it's really hard for young people to come back and to uh, know how to create real, real relations. Mm, that's why the projects like that are very important. Uh, it's, um, we can use this uh, project and it's important to make very small steps. So no pressure for young people and for yourself as youth, youth worker, because sometimes we want more and we uh, have uh, our aims to achieve. It's not about our aims and what we want to achieve. It's about young people. So we need to observe, we need to talk with them. We need to create safe space uh, to for them to ask the questions, to uh, not to attend to some activities because it's possible if, if young people come to us and say, I don't want to take part in this activity. It's possible. There is no need for them to take part in whole activities if they don't feel comfortable. So each person from our young group have their time and possibility to take step back and then to step forward. So it really needs to uh, have time and to observe and to communicate with each other. Communication is the most important thing uh, in this project, I think. And it's possible because uh, we saw the, the change coming during the activities and during the day. So uh, it's changed. Even for people who were like standing uh, uh, away from the group and don't want to talk or to touch, after the whole project, they were hugging, laughing, and just crawling into the ground. So it's changing really fast. And also in our manual, the non-formal uh, workshops take place first. So they, you can uh, go first with the, uh, some uh, exercise about the team building, and trust, and uh, build uh, all the relation in group. And then you go to the a more uh, dance workshop and then um, also the first work workshop is more like you dancing with uh, yourself and then you go and uh, take the contact uh, body contact with other mm -hmm. persons so it's uh, also in our uh, order. order it's also uh, about this uh, step by step uh, with this contact yeah, with yeah. other person and uh, about the emotion, how they are connected with our body, just think about yourself. When you feel angry, for example, when you, where you feel anger in your body, in your belly or in your mouth or in your chest, all emotions have their place in our body. And each person have the emotion in different place. Uh, so it's very important to have the awareness. What my body tell me when I am sad, when... I am anger when I am happy, because when I am happy, probably my, my body is relaxed and I feel very good. So it's very important to observe yourself. And like this is very important connection, because when we know where we have our emotion, we can learn how to deal with them. Because when we are not connected with our emotion in our body, it's hard to learn how to deal with the emotion, especially with the tough ones. 
uh, what we have more project are, uh, about the prevention especially in Nicola Arts. We were talking that our project is connected uh, by three organizations and Nicola Arts mostly is working with uh, kids with young people from disadvantages area. So they are connected art, dancing, movement, fashion, drama to working with young people. And it's very good prevention because uh, prevention is mostly about relation it's about creating healthy relations and it's about learning how to deal with social issues, how to communicate, how to arguing with other people. Uh, and uh, communication with other people can help us create safe group. And when we are living in the safe group in our lives, we feel safe. So there is no need for us to go, for example, to do some risky uh, activities because we feel safe so we have our healthy group healthy relation uh, with others and with ourselves it's very important to have healthy relation uh, with ourselves it's it's really big prevention in our life and in young people's life uh, do we have something more um, or just I we don't have time. We don't have time for more. Or, have... or yeah, Anna, that's question all for you. Yes. So um, no. Well, first of all, yes, we are out of time. So our one and a half hours are gone by like nothing. And this is just another proof how interesting this talk has been. I think if you have something else, maybe to keep it for the final comments especially that maybe to one more time remind the international dimension of your work and your openness for cooperation. I think this is something very valuable and also addresses the questions that have remained unanswered because we have a couple of questions in the chat that we will send for your attention later on. Maybe you can follow up on it in a personal email. In the meantime, I would like to ask Olaja to share her work. I am sure you forgot about her by now, but I don't I'm forget. It's uh, really, excited to, uh, yeah, really excited to see. And then, um, and then uh, if there is something else, some ideas or thoughts you still want to close with, um, dear uh, Yagoda and Isa, please do so in your very final remarks. Now, floor is for Olaja. All right. Thank you should be over. seeing visual now, hopefully. Yes, yeah? yes, yes. Okay, nice. So what to comment on it? I will keep it super short. Uh, I think you can clearly see the involvement and the passion that, that you both have in, in the work you do. And you have made the project, the resources, the methodology super approachable and inviting. So we have not only the more technical data of what you wanted to do and why, and then what exactly were the outcomes that you produced, but also you passed on like the importance of, of this method concretely, and you made it look very easy how many different important aspects of the lives of young people you can address by something technically as easy as dance. So really something to take with us. And uh, I have enjoyed a lot going through the whole visual because it was very organic and very natural and, and super nice. So really enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> I will put it on my wall behind <laughs> my desk in the job. <laughs> As always, Raja keeps, uh, keeps uh, surprising us uh, how somebody can produce it in such short time. Of course, uh, then you will see this is even not even the final work. Then the final work is coming with the follow-up email and the article, and we will use these visuals again. Feel free to use it as your avatars for your social media, for example, because these are really nicely depicting your passion and your, your love of what you do. And maybe this is a good moment also to start closing today's ID talk from you, Yagada and Isa. We know we don't want you let, to let you go, but we will have to at some point. So maybe some final remarks, and then we say goodbye to our audience for today. I just want to thank you so much. Uh, I am really happy that we have opportunity to tell you more about our project. 
we are really proud of the project because I also maybe know sometimes we create some projects and that's all we didn't use them. And this is one of the our projects we are using a lot. We have a lot of meetings. We are trying to uh, spread the awareness about using body and movement to improve our mental health. So that was our opportunity. And my last words to you, just trying. Uh, sometimes it's not easy to start, but when you start and don't give up on small steps, it can truly really make big difference in your life. So that's my last word. And I am sending also the links for our Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and uh, if you have some questions or want to connect or create something together, uh, we will send our emails to the girls and it's okay for us if you will spread our emails as well. And I am giving the voice for Isa. I also want to thank you that you are the part of uh, today uh, for your meeting. Uh, I'm also very happy that uh, you said that you are interested in uh, our uh, program. And so we, we will uh, help you in everything you, you need to uh, go with this program and give this to the young people because it's very good program and we want to share this to the whole world so uh, take take you take it and go spread with it. it yeah <laughs> go with this flow and with this project yeah. and take care of yourself it's important yeah thank, thank you. you very much on this very important reminder of taking care of ourselves we would like to thank our audience one more time for being here, our audience online and our audience that will be watching this afterwards. Unfortunately, we don't have time to take more questions, but if you type it quickly in the chat, we promise we pass all of this information to, to Jagoda and Isa. Plus, just to remind you that uh, in exactly two weeks from today, we will have another ID Talks focusing on working with peers and peer learning. So please don't forget to come back, follow on our social media channels. And there will be more talk on mental health this year. Thank you very much. Have a nice rest of your day. Goodbye. You've been a great audience. Thank you. Thank you.